So let's ladle some of our soup up into a nice soup dish here. We'll sprinkle on uh, some grated cheddar cheese. That's gonna melt in there nicely. And some of our bacon scrunchies, oh, a few more. And that is how you make potato soup. It's delicious uh, and it's easy to make. You can do this. I think I'll make potato soup, but I need some ingredients. So let's make a trip to the garden for potatoes and carrots. Well, we've got our carrots and potatoes fresh in the garden. Let's get cooking. Two medium onions, diced. Half a cup of celery, diced. Four cups of chicken broth. Four cups of potatoes, peeled and chopped. One cup of carrots, peeled and finely chopped. Two cloves of garlic, minced. Let's fry up a few pieces of smoky bacon in our stock pot. We've removed the bacon and we'll add our garlic, our celery, and our onions, and cook until tender. Stir in chicken broth, and bring to a boil. Let's add our potatoes, our carrots, and a bay leaf and we'll simmer for about 30 minutes. Then we'll take the lid off and we'll give it a stir every now and then. We need a topping for our potato soup and we've got bacon. Let's make scrunchies. That's gonna be so good on our potato soup. Remove the bay leaf from the pot. So you have a couple of options here now. You can put this into a food processor or a blender and puree it. Or if you happen to have a, uh, an immersion blender, you can do this. Okay, let's season the taste. We'll add some salt, some pepper, maybe a little more salt. We'll add two cups of 10% cream. We're gonna put this back on the stove and we're just gonna warm it up to uh, eating temperature. You don't want it too hot, don't overcook it. Okay, our soup is just starting to bubble. That means it's reached a good serving temperature. It's done.